Ghost Riders in Space. Bring me baby Thanos. Hey guys, me, host Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's the Cosmic Ghost Rider, the Pattern Stare. <laughs> It's Cosmic Ghost Rider, and that means one thing, it's time for another Marvel Legends action figure review. So, whoop, today we've got the Cosmic Ghost Rider. You'll see that bike better on the, on the desk cam in just a little bit. But for now, let's take a look at the figure itself. We have the Cosmic Ghost Rider, an awesome new Rider series set brought to us from Hasbro's Marvel Legends line. This is a very cool action figure and one I've been looking forward to because I've really enjoyed the Cosmic Ghost Rider story this year. Well, last year, when we had the whole... Um, it comes about because of the war with Thanos and he actually dies, does Frank, does, um, Frank Castle, and he gets to come back as a Ghost Rider. And he basically goes and decides to try and take out the Punisher, sorry, go take out uh, Thanos when he's a baby. And he gets sent back in time, and then he realises when he uses the pennant stare on the baby Thanos, that Thanos at that point in time is not evil, so he can't use it on him. And he can't kill him. So what happens is... Uh, he basically decides to, ra to basically raise baby Thanos like his own, very similar to the baby Yoda sort of storyline. And um, I've said this from day one, if anyone has got a 3D printer out there that can somehow make a baby Thanos to wrap around this guy with a chain, just like in the comics, I'd love one. And I'd, I'd, do, I'd love to review it. But for now, guys, let's take a look at Ghost Rider. So the actual dome piece, which a lot, not a lot of people know, I don't think, actually pulls off. So you can adjust this neck piece, which is actually separate from the rest of the body, uh, which, which is the flame piece at the back. You can, you can rotate that around. And you can also mess around with his head a little bit as well and make him look different ways and then put that dome piece back on, basically. So if you're only looking in a certain way, you can set that off, you know, adjust it, and then pop that back on. His arms do lift up all the way to that top hinge. These pieces here are separate from the body as well, so they do lift up nicely. No scuffage. And obviously there's the top bicep hinge there as well, a double hinge elbow. Hands are on a jaw, a ball joint there. You can crunch him forwards a little bit as well as backwards quite far. There is a further swivel there as well. There's no waist swivel on this figure. He's got enough swivel at the abdomen area. You can lift his legs out all the way, as well as forwards and backwards. There is a top thigh cut still on this figure as well, and a double hinged knee here. But so it's actually hindered a little bit um, by the actual armor pieces touching. There's no shin cut or anything like that, but the feet are on rocker and pivot, and there are holes on the bottom of the feet should you wish to use a base on this one. I probably would, because I found this figure quite hard to stand. But luckily, to be honest, I think most of us are going to be displaying it on the bike. That's why we've got this figure. He does come with his chain as well, which is very cool. Uh, the chain itself is made of a yellow plastic with a nice orange tinge as it gets to the top to create the flame effect. It's very cool. Although I do prefer the other chain from the first figure. And we do also get these awesome little flame effects for the guns. Get two of those. The bike itself is pretty nice. These two dome pieces connect at the front. And inside the dome piece you'll see these little white meshes that just fit inside. That creates the overall cosmic effect of the, of the actual uh, dome. The, because of this piece at the bottom you can tilt it left, right, backwards, forwards to give you a full range of motion on the bike which is nice. And again, same with this piece at the back, that does rotate around so you can get different angles, things on that flame effect. And I believe it does pull off if you give it a hard enough tug. And then the actual, um, <laughs> the guns just slot inside the little holes as I'll try this one before I go back and get on. Yeah. And these guns remind me quite a lot of the guns used by sort of Star-Lord. Very nice guns. I'll have to go down there and find that gun in a minute. So yeah, the figure itself is really nice, guys. I really like what they've done with this figure. So let's go on down to the desk cam to give you guys a proper close personal look at this awesome figure line. So let's go to the desk cam. Sadists, psychos, and killers don't matter what planet they're from. They all deserve to be punished. So here is the Punisher out of the packaging. Let me just move this to one side for now and give you guys a proper close look. Look at that face skull, first of all. That red skull there with the flame effect around the bottom on top of that. That is really cool. The dome piece does come off, as I've shown you previously. You can remove the dome piece to adjust the, any of the part of the head and stuff if you want. Then, of course, he's got the classic Punisher emblem there. You can see the two eyes and the mouth uh, meeting at the bottom there on, that, on the waist piece. 
And then he's got some nice red shoulder pads which do lift up if you want to adjust them and things like that, which is nice. I'm liking the yellow and purple pinky dots that give it the more cosmic feel, along with these sort of classic round disc looks. Again, that's kind of like old school co like, like cosmic appearance. And I'm loving the armour pieces that he's also got that match the top that go along with the legs. I wish the leg armor was a little bit more battle worn because you can see up top here they've included some like bobbling effects on the armor, which gives it that kind of like it's been through wars. Whereas his legs look a little bit too shiny and fresh and clean for my liking. And if we turn it around to the back as well, you can see up top it's still meant to be like a leather jacket almost, but it is in like a metallic form, which is very cool. And look, you can see he's even got the elbow pads on that have got dints and things in them, and they've even included a back piece here. I think they could have done a little bit more with that and maybe put a different coloured wash over the top of those pieces just to give them a separate look to the rest of the body because it all does kind of blend in. Like I said, the legs really needed to match this at the top because the legs do feel like a completely different figure. Uh, they don't seem to match very well. Oof. Dropped him. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this figure to stand properly, you know, as well. He's, he's really not wanting to stand this figure and I'm contemplating getting a stand to finish this review off because he's really not standing up. Luckily he's going to be sat down for most of his life so this is the only standing he's got to do. And if I move you across here you can see his two guns. Very similar to like Star-Lord's guns. Both are very different. <coughs> you got this one which has got a different grip to the, the other one which has got the little flame piece on the end. You can remove these little flame pieces as well which is pretty nice just to have the gun and you can holster those up on the bike as well if you want to. And there's the secondary gun. This one reminds me of the gun that Star-Lord uses quite a lot. And then of course you've got his lovely whip. The chain whip. A little bit different to the previous release which is nice. And of course then as well we get the bike for the Cosmic Rider. Now the bike again has got a nice big flame piece at the back. Which is pretty nice and it comes with this awesome stand. Similar to the one that we got for Xavier which I don't actually use. I've got my Xavier up there. I actually use him without the hover piece. It just looks nicer like that, I think. But yeah, there is the hover piece on this one if you if you would like to use it. Right, you kind of do need to use it on this one, to be honest. Then you've got the big ball as well. Uh, which is meant to simulate the, 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 sort of, the sort of cosmic energy. And there's like a white net thing inside of there. Like mesh. To make it look, again, more cosmic here, Like it's a ball of energy on the front there to create the wheel. We've got more of these little blue disc things just like on his hands. And again that design follows through with that blue and silver all the way through the actual vehicle itself. Giving it a very nice shiny build. There's some more of those blue rings at the back there. And he's got the big three spokes at the back. You can place the guns in here as well which is pretty nice. So we'll just get one of those guns. You can just kind of... Have I got the wrong one for that side? Let me get the other gun. Let me try that again. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this one-handed. Ah, there we go. There we go. So it does just slot in like that at the back. And again, because of the, the way the piece works, you can tilt the bike forward, backwards, left, right, to give it some kind of you know, action pose. But yeah, the guns do fit in. They just slot in like that as well on the side. It does have a little kick plate stand there to put his feet on. I think that's pretty much all the detailing I can show you on that one. So if I move that out of the way and bring in the other Ghost Rider from our previous release, you can see the two side by side. Cosmic Ghost Rider is a little bit smaller, uh, which is quite surprising. And as well, I'm just going to get him out for giggles. He is missing his hat. But we do have another Ghost Rider as well from the old Toy Biz days. I always thought this one was Caretaker, but apparently it's not. Someone pointed out to me which one it was recent, like recently. If I ever got a decent horse, I think I would use this as the as like the Caretaker's Ghost Rider on horseback. <clears throat> so yeah, there's my Ghost Rider collect collection so far, guys. Which Ghost Riders have you got, and which one do you hope they make next? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if anyone out there has a 3D printer and can make a baby Thanos for this figure, I would appreciate it. I would love to wrap baby Thanos in a chain around the front, just like on the comic covers. In the, in the, in the There was the series of Baby Thanos Must Die. And I would love 
a baby Thanos to go with him. That would be really cool. So if anyone's up for making one of those, please let us know in the comments below. But guys, let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. So guys, what's your uh, thoughts on this awesome Ghost Rider figure? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's review, guys, then please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!